Hey everybody, Jared with All Things Crime here, and it's great to see you. It's uh, right after the 4th of July weekend, and so uh, it's actually July 6th, but we're still kind of on vacation and enjoying life. But as you know, a lot of my vacation is consisted of uh, working and, and including documenting places where I go. And that includes every time I come to Salmon, Idaho, I have to go see Dr. David Hone. And the reason is, is because Dr. Hone has a special way of helping the body heal itself. Now, what does that have to do with law enforcement? What does that have to do with the law? Um, frankly, if you're not taking care of yourself and if you're not uh, complete in physical and mental and spiritual and all of those things aren't, aren't whole, then you are not operating at the best capacity of yourself. And that's one of the reasons that I love Dr. Hone is because he works with Qigong medicine and it is absolutely fantastic. I don't fully understand how he does things, but, and I'm gonna have him explain that in just a second, but he actually runs what's called the uh, Elements of Life Institute. And that's where I am right now. And I'm gonna go in and uh, get a treatment before I head for home today. Talk to you in a minute. Okay. I'm Dr. Hone. I'm a naturopathic doctor as well as Chinese energetic medicine physician. I'm also a um, licensed ecclesiastical health provider and board certified naturopath. And I've studied for years in with meditations and with uh, Chinese medicine, as well as consciousness-based medicine is where I really got out of my shell and started talking about things more. I, I enjoy every part of it and every aspect from the depths inside to the things outside and how we all interconnect with everything. That's basically Qigong. I love to teach from the word Qigong instead of Chinese energetic medicine for multiple reasons. Because Qigong is Qi, the vital light that fills all things, and Gong, skill of cultivating and working with Qi when you put them together. So Qigong is just that. It's that we can gather from energies both inside and outside and learn to work with them and gain more light and truth and be able to heal and be better in every way, physically, emotionally, energetically, mentally, and spiritually. We have this ability, innate ability to heal, and it goes way beyond the known capabilities of what we could understand just from doing some scientific study. It's something you have to discover for yourself, something that comes from inside of you and nowhere else. So that's what we do here, is we help you find that journey we help you find your way to move forward and to be even more than who you are. So that's the basis of it. Um, I was just talking a little bit about the way chi feels. A lot of us don't understand that the way chi feels inside is what really helps us in communicating and working with everything outside the body. So some, there are people who focus on this outside awareness and for some reason they can only go so far because they haven't gone inside too. We can inside be able to build the energy in order to expand beyond those known capabilities that we talked about. But the only way we can is really going inside. We have to go inside to see who we are. As, as we do that, and as we get to know our own nutrition, our own physical abilities and physical limitations as well, then we can go beyond those limitations when we join with the mind and the spirit in that to really help strengthen all of them together. You can't only have one. If you don't have a constant nourishment between body and spirit, then you have that one becomes heavy while the other one becomes light. It's kind of like when you're exercising, if you only work one arm, one arm gets really strong and can do everything and the other one can get really weak. I saw that in track and field with throwers. They get really well developed on one side, but then their other side, they had no technique and couldn't do anything. So it's the same thing with between the body and the spirit. And what holds it together is the chi. And that's energy and also, it's not our English version of energy. It's so much more than that. It's, it's vitality, it's, it's, uh, it's light. And every atom is made up of light. So if you could increase the light of every atom, 
Would that not make it healthier and brighter and help you have more vitality? Help you be able to reorganize this body as needed and heal? What keeps us from healing is the lack of that special kind of energy that we call chi. And the only way to get it is by putting focused intention and putting your spirit and body into that equal proportion. So what we eat can help. We gotta have the right foods and the right water. If we have water that's not as good for us, we have a tendency to um, have our bodies have to work on cleaning everything out. When we put food that's not as good, like high processed foods, again, what happens? Our bodies have to work on sorting through all the junk instead of really working on repairing. The real miracle is that we can put things in our mouth and our bodies can magically make it into us. That's the miracle of this body, is that we are alchemists, every one of us. We're taking things from outside with air and with water and with food and making them more into our beings. So how do you want to be? Do you want to be a being that vibrates less and that is not as good? Or do you want to be a being that can vibrate on a higher level and expand and grow beyond? That's the question. So it doesn't matter what a physician does. Doctors don't heal. There's never been a doctor that's healed anybody. Surgeons have helped things before in the body. And yes, we go in energetically and can guide the energy, but the healing happens when you actually make the changes in your own life doing your own physical exercises or meditative exercises, well, actually both of those, as well as then getting the right nutrition in your body and taking time for you. Sometimes that's it. Life is so busy, we don't take time for ourselves. So what do we need to do? We need to get up. We need to splash some cold water in our faces, one of my teachers told me, and do our practice. We do that, we find that we get healthier. There's also Qigong movement. Qigong movement is movement meditation. And you're guiding the energies through the body, from the feet to the top of the head, out the arms. Every part of your being is being nourished by this energy that you're guiding with your mind. If you do those exercises, they've found from University of Utah that the telomeres, which are on the ends of your DNA chains, actually lengthen. So you, you actually, can have instead of looking like you're 90 years old on your telomeres, when the telomeres are gone, you die. You can have them lengthen. Now, what does that mean? That means that you can also have better repair of your skin so wrinkles can fade. You know, you can look younger, but it also means you can have more energy. Who wouldn't like more energy? Who wouldn't like to feel better? Another byproduct of this is that you gain in your, your higher thought processes. In other words, instead of thinking debase thoughts that are lower, you start thinking in higher thoughts. For instance, if you're always angry, wouldn't you prefer to be more benevolent? You don't necessarily want people to walk over you, but you do want to have more compassion for other people. And that together brings more tranquility and peace in life because you're not always at odds with everything around you. So these, that's just an example. We have to have more self-knowing, self-understanding, self-acceptance. And as we do that with wisdom, everything comes into play and into harmony in a better way. So this is a little bit about Qigong. This is what it is, and this is how it can benefit your health. We could write, there's, there are novels and novels that have been written, and we could write novels and novels more that haven't been written. And your journey is waiting for you to figure out what that is. That's fine. All right, so we just got done testing Jared. We use applied kinesiology which is also known as muscle testing. It is not diagnosis, it's merely communication with the body when it's done properly. When you're, if you're really neutral and you're really inquisitive and you have a system that can keep you from getting in your own head, it can help you figure out more what's going on in the body. So we use your strengths and your weaknesses and communicate with the body what we want and then it's able to communicate back to us. Um, it should be used with other forms of diagnosis diagnosis as well, so that we can be able to better figure it out. So what we just found with Jared was that his liver was weak. It wasn't the gallbladder, it was the liver. And then what we do is we take and we start reviewing it differently. We look at what level it's on, because we want to look layer by layer. And what I've done with the muscle testing, I've come up with the thing that then we can start reviewing the layers. So the first one I like to check is the physical. 
And once we look at the physical body and what's going on with it, if there's a weakness there, then we know, okay, we need to look at the physical attributes of this organ. But it was fine. We went up to the mental, and it was fine. We went over to the emotional, and it was really strong. But when we went down to nutritional, it was just a little weak, but it wasn't as weak as the result we had for the whole thing. So I knew it wasn't all of it. So then we go inside. From there, we start looking inside. And we go, okay, so is it something deep inside? But all that tests okay, too. And that'd be like your perceptions, beliefs. If, was there something keeping you from being able to think that you could be healthy, right? Or that there was a problem. Those were all fine. The, even the, um, as we go deeper, it's then your mother's and your father's energies, which relate to your DNA structure. Is there something genetic that we need to work on? So after that, then if there's nothing wrong there, there's nothing wrong with the original template, then we start looking outside. With that, we look at what's called the Wei Qi field. There's three levels of it. There's the physical. When the physical level is healthy, that one we call the Jing Wei Qi field. Wei means protective field or yeah, healing field, protective field. It, there's, it always depends on context with the Chinese words. But it's, it's about here. Some people can see these as well. This one looks white to most people that can see it. But it, it helps if it's healthy, then most likely you don't get sick really easy. Okay? The next level out is called the Qi Wei Qi layer. And it deals more with the emotions and with energies of the body and how they affect you. If it's healthy, other people's emotions don't have as big of an effect on you. But again, that's a mirror from inside out to these fields. And it also has to do with your genealogy. It has to do with your heritage. A lot of times what's in that field it is coming from your heritage as well. And if you work through some of the problems of your whole heritage, you don't only help you, it's even possible to help your family members as you help heal that layer. Why? Well, there's a lot of arguments to that. It could be because, well, you're treating them better so your children act better. But I've seen it that it reaches many other layers that are much deeper than that. Um, another part of the Wei Qi field is that's where people see auras. Uh, some people see these colors and that's out here, but it strongly relates to your overall emotion. So you can change those colors when you learn how to control and change in here, right? Then we have the next layer out. The next layer out is called the Shen Wei Qi field. Shen is symbolic of both mind as well as spirit. And it's what martial artists train all three Wei Qi fields. But the biggest one is that Shen Wei Qi field because it can help you see what's happening behind you. All right, so as, as these three layers, and it help, also helps with spiritual awareness from the Shen Wei Qi. It also helps you have more sensory perception to spiritual things. If you've ever got that thing to where you're thinking about someone, then all of a sudden they call it and you're like, I was just thinking about you. You know, that comes from a really well-developed Shen Wei Qi field. It's, it's really interesting how we're created. Now, you can also learn to perceive these fields and tell the health that's going on from these fields. But there's things outside that can harm them. It can be, let's say that you have a weakness for a certain allergy from outside. Sometimes that will show up in the Wei Qi field because it comes in and your Wei Qi starts collapsing. It goes inside to start taking care of another term called Ying Qi, the nutritive Qi inside. So when, if we look at Jared with where his um, nutritive Qi was low, nutrition needed to be improved, right? That was one of the things that came up. Then we look at his Wei Qi as being the bigger problem instead of just the nutrition. So then I go, okay, so if it's not just the food itself and it's not allergy because allergy tested it was neutral, then what is it? Well, we have today tons of electromagnetic frequencies. So sometimes it's just good to test that. Actually, people put off electromagnetic frequencies. If you're around someone who's really draining you, it's that frequency between the two of you that's really draining you. It's not always their fault. Sometimes you'd like to blame it on them, but there's just a dissonance. And either they're taking your vibration down or they're challenging your vibration a little bit. So either it's pulling from you or or growing you, and that's just people. But in general, what we see is with all the wireless things around, we have the cell towers with all their frequencies, we have our uh, 
internet, things that we, oh, I don't want to plug into something. So we just use that and have those signals. Uh, we're around radio signals and all these things, and they have a bombardment that they do on our system. And eventually this starts getting tired. And if we're not doing inner cultivation to help that, be able to be strong inside, then it starts wearing and tearing on this. You see also weakening in people that travel a lot. If, if you're out traveling a lot, you're in a lot of also changing with your polarity with the earth, and so you can't ground as well, and that can also weaken that. So there's some solutions to help you. One, well, doing Qigong, if you did your Qigong exercises in the morning and really helped reroute yourself and ground, that helps. Certain nutrition from whenever you move somewhere or go somewhere, eat some local food and particularly, as oddly as it is, a little bit of meat raised from where you're at. Not something shipped from outside, but something right from where you're at. Eating roots from right where you came from, any kind of like potato, for instance, or or even radishes that are grown in that environment can help you actually with your electromagnetic fields here with where you're at, because you can better ground to that spot. Um, some of the things that they do is there's certain stones and uh, precious stones that can help to a degree. Most that's because they contain an amount of rare earth to them, but copper even, which isn't as, you don't think of that as a rare substance, but it's becoming more and more rare all the time, is, that copper wound in the right way can also help you strengthen your Wei Qi because it takes those electronic signals, kind of gathers them around the copper, and for some reason can use it and recalibrate it to be positive. But you need to do it in sets of nine on your wrapping, three, six, and nine. If you do it, say, 36 wraps, 36 wraps around is a, a very good way to do it. Um, and you just take the copper and you can wrap it around something and you can just keep it in your pocket. It's really good to have things like that over the heart because a lot of this affects the heart and the blood more than it affects anything else. But anywhere in your field helps. There's many other things. There's these little things called orgone um, EMF reducers. Uh, and it's like a resin that they put different things in and they'll put different designs. And the sacred geometry in and of itself that we call sacred geometry these shapes have a tendency to then deflect part of that on the outside. They've also been able to see this with Carillion photography, that if you put certain of these things with sacred geometry, it increases your Wei Qi fields. And so you can physically find this with certain things as well. Um, a lot of those studies are in Russia as well as in Germany. They've really expanded the, the viewing the auras for health and they've done a lot of work on it. China kind of holds on to all of them and puts them in a little closed container and we don't get to have as much access, but as it's opening, we get more and more. So this is something just on the Wei Qi fields and how it can affect your health and a little what to do. But um, you really gotta find what's right for you. And one of the best things is, is to just talk to someone like me or someone who has a little bit of knowledge about it and then start doing it. Um, Qigong exercise that can help is golden ball. Golden ball exercise is big on building your own energy. It's very simple to do. And you can even go to our website. We're putting up videos on doing that. And it, it would be a great thing for you to do. Another one is, let's see, say you're picking up too many things and you're feeling really emotional. That would be old man in the tide pool. And that one works both for the physical, the energetic and the spiritual layers, just depending on where you put your mind. And you can do, if you do the exercise, you get the benefit. The price is never paying to get the information. The price is, are you gonna take the information and do something with it? That's where the real price is in it. But I hope this can help. I hope that this would uh, be beneficial for you. So just for the record, Doc, you said mentally I'm fine. Yeah, Okay. just for the record, mentally you're doing good. <laughs> and you can tell your wife that. <laughs> yeah, because I'm, I'm not sure she would believe me otherwise. So. <laughs> Well, awesome. you know, that's kind of how it floats a lot. <laughs> oh, I know. It's, uh, yeah, it's all relative. So awesome, Doc. So anything, um, I, how, how do we, uh, how would we get a hold of you? If, if you can get online, there's a couple different ways to get to our website. There's eligroups.com. That's e Elements of Life Institute, E-L-I, groups.com, or Elements of, Elements of life.org. Okay. Awesome.
Thank you. All right, everybody, there you have it. Tell me that wasn't the most amazing thing you've ever heard. You know, Dr. Hone um, has a special ability, but it's, it isn't something that uh, only he can know. And he has a lot of information for everybody to glean from, which is why I come up here, not only to uh, be healed myself and to you know, get my, get everything physically in alignment, but most importantly, to get everything up here in line. And it's impossible to do business and to do, um, uh, you know, spiritual, mental, intellectual things without having everything uh, aligned, everything right. And he just has this absolute unique and amazing ability to uh to square me away honestly it's one of those things that um absolutely love about him i spend as much time with him as i possibly can when i come up here to salmon and uh just to really enjoy it you know there's there's something special about being around mountains being around uh this amazing river pan around here um if you can see it there yeah right along the river can't go wrong with that that is just absolute amazing amazing stuff right here so if you ever have a chance to get with dr hone you 100 percent need to do it and um he can uh not only help you in ways that you never imagined possible that a medical doctor can't just physically can't but he can also teach you things that will uh will help you in every aspect of your life and that's what uh the whole um i mean it, it honestly all things crime is is about more than just crime it's about more than just educating people about the process it's about understanding why we do things it's about understanding how we can help people to not commit crime, how we can help people to uh, get over whatever it is that's, you know, causing them to do things. And, you know, how can you, how else can you do it if you're not aligned yourself, right? Well, I know this is kind of deep and probably a lot more than what we expected we were gonna get in this episode, but uh, again, it's so incredibly important to uh, help each other and to get over this um, this amazing uh, and just insane crime spree that's going on. You know, you look at what's going on in the cities. In fact, Dr. Hone actually talked about one of the things that's the problem with cities is, and, and the, the, almost the exact same thing with travel, is you're not grounded. And when I say grounded, I mean physical ground. There's something about being uh you know it's interesting the movie um julia roberts was in it in the 80s uh pretty lady yeah <laughs> can't believe anyway in pretty lady she tells richard greer the billionaire guy once in a while you need to take your shoes and socks off and go walk around the park and and put your feet on the grass and you know once in a while hollywood actually nails it they get it right and I think that right there shows you that they understand what it means to be grounded, what it means to actually be um, tied in with the earth. And the earth has its own healing properties. And that's really kind of what nature does for people. And uh, what David was saying is that, uh, Dr. Hone was saying is that um, people that live in the cities are naturally grumpy. And we think it's because they're surrounded by uh, tens of thousands and maybe even millions of people but uh, personally I think it's more because they are not able to actually uh, touch the earth and be able to be grounded better and especially those that live in like high-rise apartments and stuff um, they're so uh, displaced it's almost like when you're in an airplane which I do a lot uh, when you're that displaced when you're that um, uh, far away from the earth and you're moving a lot 
then uh, the polarity in your own body can be thrown off and get really screwed up. So, um, boy, tell me that isn't just uh, one of the most beautiful things you've ever seen. Oh, I'm gonna turn this here. There we go. How's that for unreal? Beautiful, huh? Well, folks, we're gonna end this episode here, but I tell you, get out into nature. It'll help not only heal yourself, but uh, it can also heal society. And I think our ability to, you know, treat each other better and uh, overcome this, um, this just crazy way that society is headed right now with uh, the, the uh, you know, being divided, uh, the lack of unity, the lack of uh, love for each other, that can all be ended by just getting back to nature, getting back to what's actually important. And hope you all have a great day. Hope you had a wonderful uh, 4th of July celebrating our country's birth. And yeah, but let's take that. Let's take those, um, those thoughts and the patriotism and the love of the country and love of each other. And let's continue it forward. Not just on uh, holidays, but every day. Take care, y'all.